Okay, this is a little uh, test of my chameleon. Chame Turbo Chameleon 64 using average look at Elite because that's like a one of them games which would benefit from a faster processor. I still thought it played okay but I think it could have done with a little bit more speed but you know you get what you get at that time. I'll have to check uh, my BBC because I'm, I'm pretty sure my BBC, I'll tell you now while well, that's loading, is a little bit better at rendering the, the little beat there. Time side, cracking service, that takes me back. Okay, so this is at normal speed. And if you notice, you get a bit of flickering. Now, I've, I've thought about this, and I think there's two reasons why, why it's doing this. And I think what's happening, if, if you know what I mean by raster time, is basically top left-hand corner is your first, you know, your first scan line, and the bottom right-hand corner is your last. Now, if you... Uh, compare the register DO12 with what scan line you want to stop on that'll give you a nice smooth screen so what I think is happening here possibly is that they're doing the calculations on one scan and drawing it on the next or they're putting all the calculations on the screen and it's just real-time programming but they're just calculating how much time they've got left and they just put some dummy code at the end just to make it smooth so uh, possibly I don't know if you know what I mean but anyway that's uh, that was the Cobra I think it were doing a bit of a rotation so if I deboot zero get me oops star deboot zero on my BBC just want to have a look at, just want to compare it so that's moving a little bit smoother now as you can see So let's load Elite on my BBC. I just want to see what it looks like. So you're still getting the flickering. So that's why I think it's drawing on one scan and doing the program on the next because you'll get that flicker. It is another way of doing a lot of colours. Because what you do, you do one colour on one scan and another colour on other. And if they dark enough you, you don't notice the uh, flicker you know, on the dot anyway it is nice and smooth now I think this is a nice speed there that we're at four weren't it five I don't really I can't really see much difference with five actually looking on the BBC version it does flicker so obviously using the same it looks like it's using a lot of the same code that's flickering a lot more than the uh, Commodore one for some reason. But I think the uh, co oh there you go, nice and smooth now, I'm rotating well. I think the uh, Commodore graphics hardware a little bit superior to the Acorn one. Acorn one, we can see that by a lot of the games comparing. Them. But still, it's still plays in the office for the BBC. All right, we're on, so that will slow it down you can really see this flicker now it's like slow motion mode I think the next one's gonna be no the no limit one yeah and that's just gonna be as fast as possible so there you go look at that it's been like a good one
Wouldn't it be nice to have, a, have the processors a little bit quicker like that? Oh, no. There is a key on the keyboard that you can change what model it's going to use. I mean, it's uncontrollable doing it this way, you know, the, at this speed it's really difficult to control because it's just, you know, we can see how fast it's rotating. So I decided not to fly into the sun, I think I'm going to fly into the, uh, the planet. Oh, I think that's a space station there. And there we go, right. So really, yeah, I just... I don't know. I am actually recording this afterwards. I just did the gameplay first and I'm talking over it. Some nice, uh, some nice features on the chameleon. Being able to do this, and you can see how it's like drawing it. Really, well, obviously it's slow now, but you can see how it's building it up really uh, in different parts. So obviously the Commodore didn't have any 3D hardware in it. No FPU or MMU or whatever. Now there is a, a couple of other games that I think would have benefited from this speed up. One, I can remember, one was Sentinel, which I'm trying to load now. Forgive the camera, it's just auto-focusing. And the other one is Driller. Now, let it load up. And it didn't work. <laughs> so, what I think I'll, I'll have to do is go straight onto uh, Driller. And I'll show you the difference in. Uh, the drawing, the draw routine with a little bit of speed. Actually, I forgot to change the speed, so the intro won't look right. And the decompression will take longer as well. So I mean the scroller don't work. Freescape. <laughs> Just figuring out what I want to do next, really. There we go. So that this is uh, Driller running. So I'm messing about with joysticks to get it plugged in. And I'm pressing the keys as well. And for some reason, there's some angle keys and I just couldn't figure out how to get back straight. So, sod that. I think what I'll have to do is come out and go back in. Just for the sake of speed and just not being bothered to figure out what keys are. Alright, so if you look on the screen, you've got angles and. All right, alter the step. So I wonder. Okay. I wonder if you reduce the step, you get a smoother, 
move a scroll. I'm supposed to have to go down, but not. I mean, I don't have the instruction booklet. It is a, a, a D64 image, so. I think I've got this for Spectrum actually, original. But you can see, even though I'm not doing the keys properly, how slow the uh, draw routine is. But I suppose you've got fill vectors in a 3D world, so what do you expect? I mean, if, it, if this game were a little bit quicker, it'd have been, it'd be more popular. I remember playing it when it came out, and I just found it so frustrating. I thought, good idea, but yeah, it's load again. So there's no point, no point trying to play it. So maybe you have to wait 30 years to get something that can accelerate it. I don't know. I suppose you could accelerate it with ice as well. But like I said, this is the chameleon, so I haven't given it. All oh, right, so we've got a uh, better scroll there as well. Uh, I haven't used the chameleon for a while. Just through being busy with other things. So I thought I'd just sit down and do a speed test. I mean, this one's proper testing I mean elite you know you can play elite even at normal speed it's a nice game but this I don't know why they bothered releasing it it could have been released as a tech demo to be honest just to prove concept but look I mean look at that it's so slow this is running at normal speed I mean it's dread it's painful it really is And it's having to jump. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I wonder if this step would smooth it up. Obviously, it'd, ru it'd run a lot slower, but if you're accelerating it, I wonder if that step function would. If you could change that, I'm presuming you can because obviously it's showing you on the hood that's there. So, yeah, let's try it in acceleration mode. And not mess about with different jumps, just get no limit on. Whoa, look at that. If you could play it back like that back in the day, I think it'd have been a hit. <laughs> it's still a bit, you know, you can tell it's, even though it's, smo it's smoother, you can still tell it's jumping. The draw routine's like, got a massive step between each each frame I've not had to, no idea what you do on this game I, you just shoot stuff and oh look triangles uh, filled polygons And I think the use of colours might have been a little bit better as well. Cause they, I suppose if you only got eight, you, what do you do? But yeah, chameleon sixty-four plane driller. I wonder if it's using sprites uh, to do the draw routine like a, a block of strike, sprites multiplexed. It's possible, but I suppose you'd probably do it on a bit map. I've not looked at the the images in a uh, monitor, you know, like an action replay, so I'm not sure 
if that sprite so bitmap but you know I could do it either way I guess so another game that I, f that I thought would benefit from a speed up is LucasArts Rescue on Fraculus nah we'll see what happens <laughs> so that's a reminder uh, yeah so Rekker and Fracurus Fla Fraculus I did like this game I did spend some time on it and it runs okay at normal speed Will it run OK on the acceleration? I do, do notice with the older, you know, I know Commodore 64 is old, but with the older Commodore 64 games, does it, this does seem quite blocky. I think towards the, you know, like, 90s onwards, the games that came out seemed a bit more polished. I suppose at the time, you know, this game probably competing with Atari 2600 and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's a nice sun <laughs> or planet, it looks like a sun, but it's probably a planet. Uh, yeah, competing with you know, Spectrum and stuff like that. So, you didn't, I suppose, the you didn't need to do it. I mean, that looks okay, I mean, that's at normal speed. And now let's up the game. Now, I was quite disappointed because you got artifacts, so that's what I call them. It's like drawing, but you can't cope with the acceleration. So I thought I'd just knock it down a bit. You still get it, even on five megahertz. Now I've not. I mean, obviously it's drawing a small screen there, and I doubt if it's drawing fractals. To be honest, I'm just drawing bumps, <laughs> whatever. I'm not sure how, how this works to be honest. But I think at 5 megahertz it's okay, but I, you know, the uh, the UFOs or the alien spacecraft that come to attack you, near and impossible to get because it's running at that, you know, it's running really quick. I think the idea is, is you, you this game you, you look for survivors, you shoot the alien spacecraft, and then there's some like uh, little watchtowers that shoot at you as well. Now they're just about. I mean, I'm trying to get it there, but I just can't get it. But here, I think there's two. I think that green dot circle whatever is a survivor which I'm trying to shoot which I shouldn't and up there we've got a guard tower a turret that's it I'm trying to think of it a turret and I got it and that's it really that's my little demo of uh, 